Uh, so, I don't know if you guys remember the intro video, but... I was all like, no one's going to align with me. I'm gonna be first boot. I've already won, why am I playing this again? Your boy survived the first eviction with a 9-2 vote. Against who? Against Quinn. What? What? When Josh said the vote was 9-2, to two, my jaw dropped. I was expecting 6-5. to five. I was very 50-50 on if I would be here right now. But here I am. Um, wow. T on who I like and who I don't like. I love Allie. I love Jeff. I love Bobby. Connor, I feel like I should love him, but I cannot trust him. I, I, I need to trust him, but I can't trust him. As the only other winner in the game, it is in both of our interests to keep each other as long as possible, but he is being so shady. He's over here making alliances that I don't know about. He's over here, like, just chatting people up, like, nobody's business. And I don't know if what he says is true. I really don't. And he's over here telling me, like, listen, man, I'm an open book. If they're... If I can't be honest with you, I can't be honest with anyone. And I'm like, do you really need to say that if it's true? I'm suspicious of Connor. So we will see how that goes. There were two votes against me, so there are a couple snakes. Um, I think Daniel might be one of them because I haven't talked to him at all. Um, but I don't know who the other one is. Uh, well, we will see who. I'm relieved. Y'all, this is high-key drama um week one actually not weeks this is big brother hometowns we go by day day two high key drama in the big brother hometowns house i <sighs> y'all it's a wild season so far have an amazing time trying to piece together what the heck is going to happen next i wouldn't want to be you i wouldn't want to have to figure that out i don't know what's going to happen next I potentially have nine allies, and I can't have nine allies. That's too many. So stay tuned for the the saga of Max. Also, I'm, I really am... I really love Jeff a lot, and he... I know he's 100% loyal to me, and I'm 100% loyal to him, but he's he rubs people the wrong way in the group chat, and just like... I'm just like... <laughs> people please love jeff but i don't know if they're gonna love jeff like bobby's already like oh who's that guy i don't like oh yeah jeffrey let's put, get him out i'm like can my allies please just get along with each other anyway um i'm gonna go because this is three minutes long but <gasps> i'm still here uh my plan worked but the wrong teddy was gone I was hoping to get max out because he's the more devious of the two so we'll see what happens from here on out. What's up, everybody in the viewing party? How you doing? Um, this is your boy Jeff, aka Mafia Boss. So that was a crazy first round of um, head of household going down to the ev evictions. Um, smart play by Sarah not to make enemies and make waves. Crazy seeing that both the Teddy brothers got put in. Now the key thing here is. Was it on accident, you know, by randomness, or was it not? It's kind of crazy both Teddy brothers got put in. So the question to it is, is he out for Max, or is he just trying to thin it out? Who knows? But, also, who are the two people who wanted Max gone? I wasn't. My whole goal was to keep Max safe. Um, Quinn, if you're watching this, I'm sorry, bro. Nothing personal, but me and Max just have a good history, and we got each other's backs. You know, Kai Alpha thing. So... Stay tuned, everybody. Let's see what happens. Let's see how many wills I can keep greasing and how well I can keep Max safe, but the focus on him and not on me at the same time. So, I'm not going to throw Max under a bus or anything. I will protect him as long as I can. But, you boys always got to take care of himself, too. Peace. Okay, damn. So, the <laughs> HOH, or no, not HOH, the eviction just happened. And it went my way. Um, I don't know if you'll see or not, but I literally, 
I was weighing it back and forth, like really weighing my options, and I finally chose. With my gut, I evicted Quinn, but just as a little added bonus, I went on um, a little like randomizer, and I was like, Quinn or Max? And I voted, I was like, oh, vote to Vict, and it chose Quinn for me. So that was like a double thing. Oh, sorry, I I literally am 23 and I still have a Winnie the Pooh thing. Don't judge, okay? um, No. <laughs> but no, so Quinn is out in a 9-2 to two vote, and thank goodness I voted to a victim. Um, and I just found out right now that Bobby and Connor were the two people that voted to evict Max. So Bobby messaged me, he's like, so supposedly everyone lied to me. So thank God I was messaging him about, um, like, oh my God, who's gonna vote for, like, who are you gonna vote for? I think I'm leaning, um, I think I said I was leaning towards keeping Max. I need to double check that. I was just super excited because he messaged me this. So now I know who are the two people that voted for, to evict Max. I can give that information to Max. And then, um, yeah, I'm still in good graces with Connor. I told Sarah right away. I was like, oh, ha, 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 I voted to evict Max. And she's like, oh, ha, ha, I guess everyone can see where everyone's head's at now. And I was like, oh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, but, oh my god, okay, so that couldn't have worked out more perfect. I mean, whew, okay, I guess it's start of week two now. I really want to win this HOH, um, because now, I mean, the only people that don't really talk to me, if I can keep this relationship up with Bobby or, and be like, oh, like, I can't believe people lie to you, like, I'll be straightforward, like, because I had no connection with him before, maybe I can grab him. And then, the, literally, the only people that I don't talk to are Leighton, because he won't reply to me, like, boy, bye. And then, um, wait, there's somebody else. And Daniel, Daniel does not talk to me. Well, okay, I'll be honest, everyone kind of looks the same. Everyone's all, like, <laughs> ooh, it's bad to say, but, like, everyone kind of looks the same. I don't really know everybody yet, but they all kind of blend together. Um... <laughs> This is the morning after Teddy Gate. Uh, no one's calling it that. Um, I ultimately chose Max to stay because I both had and didn't have compelling reasons um, from both of them and for both of them. I think what kind of made my decision was that Quinn kind of made this presumed or forced alliance um, and that, I don't know, rubbed me wrong maybe? Also, Daniel um, is in that alliance, and he is somebody that I knew and interacted with before. Um, and I'm not, I'm definitely not opposed to him or anything like that, but I think he trusts a plan. Like, he's very trusting, which is good, but he trusts a plan, I think, almost too much, where last night, like, no one was saying things one way or another, and he kind of just assumed it would go that way. All right, yeah, so I don't trust Connor. Uh, Connor is a sneaky little boy, and he basically played both sides of the fence publicly, I might add. Whew. Let's get him, boys. So here we go. The winner of this all-important head of household is... Daniel, Daniel, congratulations. You are the head of household. You have until midnight tonight to submit your nominations for eviction. Y'all, I'm about to rip Daniel's head off. Like you won HOH. You have power. We're in an alliance. We're in an all-star season. Let's make a move. No, he wants to wimp out. He wants to do a friggin' democracy thing, which is a bunch of crap. And then, when I say, what's the backup plan? The backup plan is a random name generator. He's being a wimp. Put up Bradley and John. They're two of the Biggest targets in the house. Biggest competitors in the house. Put them up. That guarantees one of them is gone. That's the way Big Brother works.
I set up a random number generator that will display different names based on which numbers get randomly generated. So, here we go. Max, you are on the block. Connor, you are on the block. Good luck. So I really want to give you guys a tour of my new home. I just moved in a couple days ago. It's really fun. I really like the walls in here. Like they're pretty neutral, like it's well lit. Oh, I forgot to tell you the name of my new home. It's called The Block. And I've just kind of been hanging out here for the whole game. You know, I'm getting cozy. I'm just like making uh, little choices about what to put on the walls. I'll probably start moving in some furniture. Um, and I'll start inviting people over. Connor's my first guest in the uh, in my new home. Um, he's really seeming to settle in well. You know who our real estate agent was? It was actually Daniel. He set us up with this gorgeous place and I could not be more excited. And you know what he said? He said it was just completely random. <laughs> like he just out of the blue found me a roommate. And I'm just like, Daniel, I can't ask for anything more from you. I really can't. Like. He's the best real estate agent I've ever worked with. So if any of you guys are looking for a new place to call home, give Daniel a call. He might just put you on the block. And now I'm on the block. <laughs> like, really, 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 really. It's pissing me off. Like, there's no way that was random no way no way don't believe it for a second Ugh! um i don't think that that decision was random i don't think daniel's decision was random um but i don't know if enough about calculators to really say for sure wow connor and max that's I'm talking to both of them and don't feel good about making a decision either way. Okay. <clears throat> I'm on the block. I'm going to do the only thing I know how to do, which is post a video that calls everybody out. It makes me the bad guy. So, maybe if people hate me, I can stick around a little bit longer. Because nobody wants to vote for the bad guy at the end, right? Bad guy never wins. Nah. So, maybe if Max can win that veto, we put up somebody else on that block. Maybe I stay. Maybe we can convince people that I'm such a big target that kicking me out would be idiotic and keeping me around would provide a lumbering meat shield who's just fueled with rage and will probably make terrible mistakes. We'll see. All right, let's have a little chat real quick. First of all, stop hiding behind your stupid random name generators. Don't play big brother with cowardice and trying to not get blood on your hands in the first few weeks. We're in an all-star season. Lather yourself in that crap. Get blood all over yourself. And I hope that the person that is sitting at the end that wins the prize money is covered head to toe in blood because I sure as hell would want to be covered in blood if that was me. Second of all, if you're in an alliance with someone, you don't put them on the block. Even if it is a random name generator, you don't put them on the block. Daniel, seriously? Seriously. I'm He 
here, here's, here's the other thing. You know what? I'll, I'll just be straightforward with you right now. Completely straightforward with you right now. There's no way I'm winning. No way. I can't get to the end. No possible way that I'm going to get to the end with as big of a target as I have on my back. And the only way I could win if I was in the end, if, if, if I was sitting next to Max, another previous winner. Because there's no way the jury is going to vote for a previous winner to win again against somebody who hasn't won. No way. So, you know what? I don't care. I'm going to go out there and try to win this veto. And if I don't, I hope you vote me out. Because I can't trust a single person in this house. Yeah, I wanted Max to stay last week. Yeah. Because he was my only chance at getting to the final two my only chance of winning. But it, <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. I don't care anymore. That's a lie. I do care. I'm just pissed. Oh, I hate all of you. Real quick, before I get back in the truck and go drive around. Um, that was really bitchy, and if, um, if he wanted to stay in the game, that was not the way to do it. Sorry, buddy. Connor just posted his, like, tirade in the house, and while I understand a lot of the things that he was saying, um, as far, specifically as, like, the random name generating and kind of just trying to distance yourself from decision making oh no is that what I did by not choosing that was definitely a decision anyway just worried about like that what's up guys uh, it's Bobby just trying to catch you guys up sorry I've been kind of quiet I've been trying to get involved but I had a bunch of exams and I had work for the last like almost a week so it's been tough but uh, kind of out of that now so should be a little more active Thankfully made it through the first uh, elimination, even though I've been kind of quiet, um, which is kind of crazy. I love those guys. Both of the ones that are on the block, they're wild cards for sure, but Max got to stay, which I was happy for. Even though I voted for him, that was just more to stick with my alliance. I wanted Max in the game over Quinn. Um, we go to the same school, so I can hopefully get to meet up with him and talk some strategy sometime soon. But... Uh, other than that, the game has been fairly uneventful so far. I'm still trying to get in touch with a few people I haven't talked to yet. Um, hopefully my alliance with John and Bradley and Leighton <clears throat> stays pretty solid. I think, as you guys saw in our intro video, mine and Leighton should be. We live together. But John and Bradley, we worked well with them on our first season. Uh, if you were watching that, hopefully we can keep that going. Um... Other than that, I don't have too much to speak on. Uh, for this elimination, I would rather have Connor go. His video was crazy that he put in the viewing party and made me just not want him in the house. Um, plus, he was, I mean, talking about his alliances and stuff, just mad he got backstabbed, and it happens. So, it's just time to get him out, I think. Uh, my alliance seems to agree with me, so that's good. Um, I gotta talk to a few more people, try to get them swayed on that vote, but I don't think it'll be too difficult after he put that in the public group chat. Anyways, uh, I'll check in again soon with a more fun video uh, when I have time to pull up my laptop. But until then, uh, y'all have a good one. What's up guys, coming to you live as I head to Target um, to get some stuff for work. Um, the video results are in, everyone has done. Thank you everybody for uh, being prompt and scheduling a time with me, that was really nice and helpful. Um, we'll have some more competitions like that in the future, it'll be really fun. So, winning this all important power veto with like a, a ton of money on the Plinko board, but also if this makes everyone feel better, it probably will. Uh, this person also did best on the trivia, had the most points on the trivia round. So, all around winner, 
and winning this important power of veto is Max Teddy. Congratulations, Max. You have won the power of veto. Go ahead and send me your hopefully obvious decision. Okay, just gonna give my little bit um, of a bitchy input here um, in relation to Daniel being HOH. So Max won veto and um, now Daniel's saying, oh, I would love input from everyone as to why you should not be put up on the block as a replacement. Like, excuse me, you have HOH. Like, you're not freaking king of the jungle. Like, I don't know what the heck he's doing, but it's just like, it's like too much. Like, okay, you're literally like alienate alienating yourself because one who's gonna want to work with you when you're literally asking everybody why they shouldn't be put on the block and then two I don't have a second opinion to that but it's just like who would want to work with that type of person that's literally like, oh everyone's a target everyone's being put on the block tell me why you shouldn't be like no and then he's like oh I'm not gonna be accepting people that should be a replacement nom but, like, literally, that's what you're supposed to be doing. Like, if you're asking for input, ask for somebody who wants to be on, who people want to see as a black door or backdoor option. Yes, he gave that, he gave us that option as HOH, but I didn't, I was like, no, that's stupid. That's way too much power. Giving him two n people, like, doing, like, a house vote. Like, nah, nah. Like, it's, like, almost like a god complex. Like, honey. Well, that, okay, it's just my observation of him. No one take it too far. Daniel, if you're watching this later, don't take it personally. I would probably do it too. I just think it's a bad idea and a stupid game move. Anyways. Well, hello there, I am looking rough. Um, I would like to use the power of veto to save myself. All right, Max is off the block. <gasps> what a surprise. So, I am going to be replacing Max with Connor. Connor is on the block twice. Actually, no. It's Leah because Leah has largely been absent from the game. Uh, and we haven't really seen or heard much from her. Good luck, Leah. Good luck, Connor. Happy voting, guys. I told myself that if I saw Connor in this house and I had the chance get him out, I would take it as fast as possible. And I'm going to do whatever it takes. I'm going to say any lie, and um, I'm going to try to sway every person. Whatever I can do to get him out, I will. I am the big relieved that I did not get put on the block. Um, I don't think I can really say I was low-key nervous about it. Because at this point, the anxiety and the paranoia is all pretty high key um, up in here. So I just really had no idea where Daniel was going to go with it. Um, that being said, Leah just revealed all this family situation and stuff. And it's like awkward, I guess. Josh, I hate this game. I really do. It's so annoying. I'm just kidding. I really like this game a lot. Um <sighs> I want Connor gone. It to me, it's it's smarter to get rid of Connor because he's gonna terrorize this house. I know he's going to, and keeping him is only going to cause more drama, more problems, and God forbid he keeps winning. But also, I understand that like Leah, she hasn't really been playing with good reason, and um, it it's almost fair to just let her go so she can focus on her family. I don't know. I'll get back to you with an answer. Josh, I can't. This is so annoying. How this was such a hard decision to convince anybody of is beyond me. Beyond me. And with all that being said, I vote to evict Connor, you. Hmm. Bye. See you later. Who knew that this vote was going to be such a complicated maneuver? Um, I think I'm going to have to vote to evict Leah. 
Um, she really does have a lot going on in her fam, and I wouldn't want to feel the obligation of having time for a game, and as a player, I don't want her to be able to just coast through, so for now I'm going to keep the interesting player, Connor. I vote to evict Connor. I'm voting to evict Leah. Hopefully this doesn't bite me in the ass. I'm gonna vote to evict Connor. All right, what's up guys? Sorry, I've been at work all night, so I'm not really sure what all's been going on in the house. Um, I just caught up with my group chat with my alliance for a few seconds before I made this video, but I don't wanna hold everybody up. So uh, I'm just gonna make this short. Uh, my vote is for Connor, uh, for Connor to be eliminated. Uh, thank you. Hi, right, what's up everybody? Um, so, Leah, really love you girl hate to have to do this but I'm actually trying to figure out the best interest for you um, once again heart goes out to you and your family um, but I think it's actually in your best interest if you're out of the game now and you actually spend time with your family instead of having to concentrate on both the family and the game so love playing with you hope seeing you in another season and yeah peace OMG what Max gets to vote in something um, I unfortunately vote to evict Leah. I'm sorry, Leah. What is up, guys? The results are in. Once I reveal the vote, the evicted house guests will have just a few minutes to grab their belongings, say their goodbyes, and head on out. And for only the second time in the history of Big Brother Hometowns, we have a tie. It is five to five. That means Daniel, as the head of household, you must now break the tie. You can send your decision right to the main chat and decide who you will be evicting between Leah and Connor. Good luck to the both of you. Absolutely none of this went the way it was supposed to, but given the choice, I would keep both of you in the game. Uh, I really, really would. I do not feel good about this. Connor, you are safe from eviction. Leah, you are leaving the Big Brother house. Best wishes.